Welcome to your winter challenge for today. Today we are going to be making shaky sorbets. Now shaky sorbets can be found on our website if you go to www.scouts.org.uk and go to the program planning tool and you can find all of the instructions and the ingredients that you'll need. However, we're going to make it today and what you do need is some ice and a towel and a measuring jug and some juice, any juice you like, it doesn't matter what flavour and two Ziploc bags, one big one and one small one you also need some rock salt and some water now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by placing 300 to 500 ml, it depends on how much you want of your juice into your small bag it to about there and then you just pour it in and try not to spill it anywhere and then hopefully you've got a ziplock bag and you can zip it up nice and tight because we don't want any of it leaking I'm gonna leave that there for a second and we take our large ziplock bag and we put some ice in it be quite generous with the ice because this is what is going to help us to make it into a sorbet. Oh. So, oh, it's slippery this ice. There we go. And then we're going to take 100 ml of our water. We're going to pour that in with the ice and we're going to put our orange juice, which is what I've got, but any juice, whatever you have, into the bag as well. And we're going to zip it up. You need to squeeze out a little bit of the air so that you've got a bit of room for manoeuvre and then you have to give it a really good shake. And this shake it might take you a while, but you just got to keep going. Give a really good shake. And when it gets too cold, you can wrap your towel around it. Oh, and not drop it. There we go. And give it another shake. Liquid. So I'm going to give it another shake because we want that lovely, gorgeous sorbet to happen. And it's still not happened. The magic hasn't happened yet. So what we're going to do is we are going to add in to the ice and the water, not to the juice. We're going to add in some rock salt and then we're going to see if it makes a difference. So it's a generous amount of rock salt. And then we're going to cover it with the towel again because it might get really cold this time. It's not quite there yet, but it is frothing up. Oh, still very much liquid. Do you know, I'm going to add in a bit more ice, I think. Maybe I didn't have enough ice. do it again. Let's see if we can get the magic this time. So this might take you two minutes. 
might take you 20 minutes. It might even take you half an hour. But, while you are making it, you can just think about all of the scrumy yummy sorbet that is about to arrive. Oh, I think it might need just a little bit more of a shake. Oh, do you know what? That actually looks like it's worked. Let's have a little look. So you have to be very careful getting it out. Ooh. I think that's not quite ready. I'm going to put it back in and give it a little bit more of a shake with a little bit more ice on top. But it's nearly there. If you're in this position, and your arms are aching like my arms are aching. Don't worry, just keep going because it's going to be worth it. Right, so I think we might be there now. I'm going to take it out again. Wowzers! Look at this! Now, if that isn't sorbet, I don't know what is. Now, you have to be very careful, this is incredibly cold on my fingers. If you are young, you probably need some support of your adult with you doing this. But when you get to this stage, you can get a little spoon and you can dig it in and you can find some sorbet. Oh, that is delicious. Look at that gorgeous sorbet. Well, I hope you've been as successful as I am. I hope you find some excellent combinations of juice to use making sorbet. If you want to do something alternative, you can use milk and vanilla, and then you can make vanilla ice cream. Let me know what you've done. You can post onto the Facebook page pictures of what you've managed to do, or if you're using it through your leaders, you can let your leaders know how it went. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.